How's it going? Today we're going to be making a bounce pad. This is a simple game object where when you collide with it, it bounces you up. Now, today's tutorial is going to be a little more code intensive because we're going to do multiple events as well as booleans in our script. But trust me when I say this, it's actually pretty straightforward. So fire up those projects and let's get to it. Now that we're in Unity, let's start by making the pad. Feel free to use the inbuilt 3D modeler that comes with Unity already. But for me, I'm going to stick with ProBuilder. So go to ProBuilder, New Shape, Cube, then hold down Shift and left click to drop the cube into the world. Then go to the hierarchy, select your cube, and rename it to Bounce Pad. Next, Select the face selection tool, then highlight the top face of your cube and bring it down to where it's about a quarter of a meter. Then expand it to a 2x2 two two square. Then reselect the object selection tool, highlight your bounce pad and go to its inspector. Scroll down. If you have a mesh collider, change it to a box collider. Add component, box collider. Then under box collider, select is trigger. After that, add a udon behavior component. And that's it for your pad. Now that we've completed the bounce pad, let's start working on writing the Udon Graph script. First, go to the Assets folder, right click, Create, VR Chat, Udon, Udon Graph Program Asset. Rename the graph to Bounce Pad Logic. Select the graph and open it up. In the Variables tab, look for a float variable. Select it and rename the float variable to Bounce Velocity. Then open it up and change the variable to Public and set its default value to 10. Now, let's start with the actual graph. I went ahead and separated our main graph into three separate groups. The first being the trigger entry event. The second, our collider entry event. Then third, setting our velocity. If you'd like to make a group for yourself, just right click on the graph, select create group, double click its name, and rename it to whatever you like. If you're done with the group, just highlight it and select delete on your keyboard. So let's begin by making the trigger entry event. Hit the spacebar and search up on player trigger enter. Grab the node and drag it into your group if you have one. Hit the spacebar again and search for player API. Under player API, search for get as local. Hit the spacebar and search for branch. And lastly, hit the spacebar and search for Udon Behavior. Under Udon Behavior, search for Send Custom Event. Let's connect our nodes. And that's pretty much it for a trigger entry event. As for a collider entry event, it's a copy of the trigger entry event with a different event node. So highlight, copy, and paste. Highlight the nodes, drag them into the collider, and hit the spacebar, and search for 
on player, collision enter. Then connect the nodes. And that's it for step one and two of your graph. Next, we'll work on setting the velocity. As for setting our velocity, hit the spacebar and search up custom event. Name the custom event, set, player, velocity. Then, spacebar, and search up player API. Under player API, search for set velocity. Then, spacebar, search up networking, and under networking, search for get local player. After that, spacebar, and search up Vector3. Under Vector3, search for Multiply. Change the Vector3 Multiply node from its default to Vector3 Float. Next, hit the spacebar and search up Vector3. Under Vector3, search for Get Up. Then, drag and drop your bounce velocity float variable into your graph. Connect the float to the float slot in the Vector3 Multiply node. And that's pretty much it for setting your velocity. Next, assign the send custom event nodes to the custom event set player velocity. And that's it for your bounce pad logic. Let's go back to our scene and apply our script to our bounce pad. Now that we're back in our scene, go to the bounce pad in the hierarchy, select it, go to its inspector, then scroll down to the udon behavior. Then drag and drop the bounce pad logic script into the program source. Let's see if it works. Looks pretty good. You may have noticed we have two events that run the same exact script. Now, the reason why is because one of them is actually a failsafe. Our primary trigger is actually the on player trigger enter node. The way that works is you enter the trigger zone, it checks if you're the local player, and if that's true, it'll send out for the custom event. Thing is, though, in Unity, sometimes the physics doesn't always work perfectly. So, for example, say you bounce on the pad, and you go up, 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 and you fall down really quickly, it may not detect you when you enter the trigger zone because you came in way too fast. So the way we combat that is by using an on-player collision enter node. And the way that works is it detects if your collider on your avatar has collided with the collider on the pad, and it'll run the same exact script. And pretty much guaranteeing that every time you interact with the pad, it will send out for the custom event and we'll go over how the custom event works over there. As for a custom event, it sets the velocity of the local player by multiplying the vector 3 of the local player by a float value. Now, you can think of a vector 3 simply as the position of an object in the world. So, in this case, it's our local player. And using the getUp node, it's saying to the vector 3 multiply node, Grab the position of the avatar of the local player and move it up along the y-axis at a positive value. And that value is set by the bounce velocity float, in which case we set it to 10. So in short, you touch the pad, it determines the position of your avatar, it grabs your avatar, at least its position, and then moves it up the y-axis at a velocity of 10. And that's how that works. Well, that about does it for a bounce pad. Wasn't too bad, right? In any case, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one.